Good morning. I'm Ann Stewart Mark. I am the president of the board of directors of the Salt Lake Acting Company. It's wonderful to welcome you here. This morning, Nancy Borgenick, co playwright and producer of Saturday's Lawyer, and our interim executive director, will talk to us about the, the plays Salt Lake Acting Company is going to produce this season and make a very special announcement about this exciting season. Nancy? Thank you. Thank you, thank you all so much for coming. Our Board of Trustees has mandated that the Salt Lake Acting Company be vibrant, ever more brave, innovative, and relevant. <laughs> yes. And the plays that we've selected for next season recognize our weighty history and move us forward into the future. We have decided absolutely purposely to not be paralyzed by economic doom and gloom, but have chosen rather to explode and do more productions, bigger productions, more energy, more communication, more connection, with our audience and the people who matter to us. Next season will be stunning, elegant, classy, wacky, and transcendentally goofy. <laughs> <laughs> we open next season in September with The Caretaker by Harold Pincher. It will be directed by Seattle director, guest director John Vreeke, who said he jumped at the chance to direct Pinter, only if Gene Pack would be in it. His wish has come true. Where, is, where are you, Gene? Gene Pack will be joined by Matthew Ivan Bennett and Dan Beecher. Where are you, gentlemen? There they are. Thank you for coming. This is Three Men in a Room, a stunning, unbelievable roller coaster, amazing piece of theater. Harold Pinter died in December. It is uh, fitting that the Salt Lake Acting Company would do Harold Pinter in his honor. Uh, well, it's just thrilling to open the season with this play. In, um, in any event, um, we are doing Master Class with Ann Decker by Terrence McNally. Um, and the body of work between Ann Decker and Jean Pack with this community is just extraordinary. We honor it. When Ann Decker, I would have asked her to close her ears when I said this, when Ann Decker said she, she would do the role of Maria Callas in Masterclass again, she said it as sort of an aside, and I said to her and myself and all of us, yes, we will do it again because if this theater is not here for an artist like Ann Decker, what is the point? So, David Mong directs Ann Decker in Masterclass. Natalie Blackman here today, she said she was coming. And Stephanie Longino, uh, but Sean Haig, our tenor in Masterclass, is here. <laughs> Maria Callas will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> but ooh, this man can sing. And a gorgeous Paul Dorgan will be playing the beautiful baby grand. Paul's in Ireland sends his good wishes. This is in the Chapel Theater, a special honor performance in October. In December, our first play for children, Go Dog Go. There, well, John Becker, who's on our board, calls it P Dog P. But <laughs> yes. Um, it will be directed by Jerry Rapier, whom I was hoping would be here, Dave Evanoff, musical director, Cynthia Fleming, choreographer. There is, uh, th this is the first time Slack has done a play for kids, and it's time, and it's the right thing to do. There is no professional theater for children in the state of Utah. This is the beginning of a new tradition. In February, the second professional production of a new play called Too Much Memory by Meg Gibson and Keith Redeem. Meg will be directing, both of them will be coming. Too Much Memory is an adaptation of an adaptation of a translation of Sophocles' Antigone 
It is fast, furious, hip, and cool. And Tim DeChristopher and Bob Bennett should see it. <laughs> In mid-April and May, the world premiere of Charm by Kathleen Cahill. Where is Kathleen Cahill? Directed by Meg Gibson. This play is exquisite. That I thank the gods and your family that brought you to Utah from Connecticut. Just thank you. Me too. <laughs> it, 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 it charm is stunning, elegant, classy, wacky, and transcendentally goofy all in one. It is just a huge undertaking, but we can hardly wait. Hardly wait. In July and August next year will be the 32nd edition of Saturday's Voyeur by Nancy Borgnick and Alan Nevins. The cast, some of the cast is here. We open soon, as Anne said. Break a leg. We love you. Have a great show. <laughs> Jim Craig and Brenda Vanderweer, our costume designer and lighting designer for that show, are here. And you're also designing Charm. Thank you for coming, both of you. The one final important announcement. Tony Larimer died in March, a couple months ago. Tony Larimer was many things in this community. He was an actor's actor. Oh, I'm really glad the television cameras aren't here. I knew I would do this Larry Miller thing. <laughs> um, he, he, allowed this country, this, this theater, for 30 years to do great work. He, he let us imagine and produce the best of the best. And he, he let us do big, important, tough plays because of his presence and his gift. He enriched this community to the depths of our souls. And in his memory and honor, We dedicate the 2009-2010 season. It's so good to recognize his wife and dear companion, Marie Lerner. be thrilled beyond words with this great, great honor, and so am I. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. Uh, I want to say that Tony Larimer taught English and theater at Roland Hall from 1958 to 1994. He was then connected with the school as uh, head of the Alumni Association and Board of Trustees for many, well, till now. Um, he loved theater, he loved his students, he loved Roland Hall. In honor of his legacy and in partnership, Roland Hall and the Salt Lake Acting Company have created a merit-based award called the Tony Larimer Performing Arts Award. It will be presented annually beginning in May of 2010 to a graduating senior who has excelled in the arts Julie Barrett, Assistant Head of School, and Libby Ellis, Development Director, are here from Roland Hall with us today. Thank you. Uh, and, and our attitude is that people's souls need to be fed, and more so in a time of crisis, but you can't, like, take it for granted, and nor do we, that, that the plays drive the place, and we are optimistic about selling more tickets and raising new money, and we will do it. Thank you all so much for coming. Is that That's all right? Thank you. Thank you. We have a, a press packet for you, and as, as we say at this time of year, we appreciate it. <laughs>